the hands and knees. Yeah. Well, the next morning, uh, the white Zadua Caesar made off on the bus to Iran. Mm -hmm. And uh, at parting, Ozzy shows absolutely no emotion. Uh, because she wants to teach this uh, oversensitive faggot how to be staunch. So uh, he thumps her on the back, no hugs, and which causes the Zadu to cringe. Oh, that'll leave a bruise. Uh, and um, yeah, off goes the bus. And <laughs> here come the tears again. Tears of relief. Why? She is not on the bus. That's why. Yeah. Queen Latif. <laughs> Feels like 60 kilos of assassin. Floats off her back. Yeah. She backtracks to the hands and knees room. Giggling. Um. When she gets upstairs and she takes a meticulous look, oh, she does a precise accounting of what the Aussie left behind. Yeah. Oh, two pair of blue jeans? <laughs> Good for 40 grams. Huh? Crack bamboo flute from Mysore. Partially burned candles. Crumpled map of Indonesia. I don't think so. Oh, those steel-toed construction boots. 40 grams. A um, pair of cracked wraparound uh, aviator sunglasses from Milano. Well, she'll just give those to Nancy. Huh? A little surprise present for the boy. Yeah. And uh, finally... Uh, a goatskin wine flagon, good for one gram, maybe. No. Well, the Zadu asks. She finally understands that outside the frontier, uh, she is just another uh, <sighs> drama queen with a hole in her sarong along the hashish trail, and uh, while on vacation in Harad, besides getting used to. Relating to white people, even talking with them. Um, she should hustle a little bit. Buy food. And, you know, give me something towards uh, the shelter. And, uh, yeah, she looks mis mischievously at the loot the uh, Aussie left behind. And she, she... Well, she's not been in sole control of her environment for a long time, for the last two years. And, uh, yeah, she should hustle a little bit. And uh, shoulder wound. Oof. Well, mm -hmm. not too bad today. Um, you know, so um, she rewards herself with a strong hookah of uh, Herati hashish. Yeah. Um, it's hard to smoke a stand-up hookah all by yourself. But the queen of Chateau, she's learned to smoke brilliantly. So she fires up that hookah, flames leaping, Pure red fire leaping from the chunk of ash. Yeah, and she, she coughs and smokes. Coughs and smokes some more because the Afghanis have taught her the ultimate maneuver. Smoke while You cough. Smoke while you cough. That's when you get the ultimate high. Yeah, yeah, she had the treasure on the Aussie, shimmering like a mirage in the desert. And uh, she feels 
the first tingle of a of kind of a mad uh, mercantile reawakening. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah man, this is what it's all about, cheap flashes. Everybody going from Harat to Iran will be discarding all their access hashy stained gear. They got to before they hit that straight border in the morning. And if I position myself strategically when they lighten their loads, I'll all kind of naturally inherit <laughs> their discarded items, which I can barter because I speak all these languages around here. In that funky shop in the bazaar, yeah. For more, more hashies and support myself. Oh, in Harat. Then I can afford to be lazy and party every night for as long as I want. In Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. Epiphany in the hands and knees room. <laughs>